What is going on everybody? It's Medicosis Perfectionalis where medicine makes perfect sense. Welcome back to my statistics playlist. In previous videos we talked about the population, the sample, the parameter and the statistic. We discussed the different types of variables such as dependent variables and independent variables, quantitative variables versus qualitative variables, numerical variables versus categorical variables continuous variables, discrete variables, nominal variables, and ordinal variables. We also talked about the methods of data visualization, such as the bar chart, the pie chart, the pictogram, the histogram, the dot plot, the scatter plot, the tree map, which doesn't look like a tree at all, as well as heat maps. Today, we shall talk about statistical sampling. What is random sampling? What is non-random sampling? What is cluster sampling, stratified sampling, systematic sampling, and convenience sampling? Which is convenient only if you are a mediocre lazy statistician, which is redundant. Click the like button, click the subscribe button, and let's get started. There are three kinds of lies Mark Twain announces. Lies, damned lies, and goddamn statistics. Please watch these videos in order. We divide statistical sampling into two types, random sampling and non-random sampling. There are many methods of random sampling, including stratified sampling, cluster sampling, and systematic sampling. As for non-random sampling, we have the example of convenience sampling, which should not be done by you if you have an ounce of self-respect. Suppose that you live in a country with millions and millions and millions of people. It is very hard to study every single one of them. Not only it is difficult, but also time-consuming. And if every statistical study has to actually interview the entire population, then the country will run out of money after five studies or so. So what should we do then if we cannot measure the entire population directly? Well, you take a random representative sample. It has to be random, it has to be representative, where each member of the population initially has an equal chance of being selected for the sample. And we call this simple random sampling. For example, look at these three dudes right here. Any group of three individuals is equally likely to be chosen as any other group of three individuals. Now let's play that game. Who am I? I'm gonna ask you a question and your job is to tell me the type of statistical sampling described in the question. Here's the first question. We're going to divide the population into groups known as strata and then take a proportionate number from each stratum. For example, we're going to divide the persons in medical school into departments. There is the anatomy department made of people who hate themselves. The physiology department, these are the people that wanted to become engineers, but they sucked at calculus. And then members of the pathology department, tell me that Arthur Schopenhauer is your spirit animal without actually telling me. Then we take a proportionate simple random sample from each department in this medical school. So here are the members of the anatomy department, the members of the physiology department, and the members of the pathology department. In the anatomy department, we're gonna give each member a number. So you are member number one, member two, member three, member four, member five, and all of you are in the anatomy department. Then the physiology department has member one, two, three, four, five, and the pathology department also has members with different numbers. Then what? You choose a proportionate number from each department, for example, four out of five, using simple random sampling. What type of statistical sampling is this? Please pause the video and try to answer this question yourself. So what's the answer? Well, it's very easy. I told you that the groups are called strata. Ergo, this is called stratified sampling. Let me give you another example of stratified sampling. Let's say that we're gonna take 80 students from a certain university. And then we're gonna have our four different strata. The four strata are, we have freshman, we have sophomore, junior, and senior. These are our four strata. And we're gonna take 20 students from each stratum using simple random sampling. This is an example of stratified sampling. 
Since we divided them into strata, therefore we're gonna call it stratified sampling. If you did not know this already, there is no hope for you. Stratified sampling is a subtype of random sampling. Next question, question number two. We're going to divide the population into groups called clusters this time and randomly choose some of the clusters. For example, randomly sample three departments from medical school population. The three departments constitute the cluster sample. So in medical school, there is an anatomy department, physiology department, pathology department, biochemistry department, pharmacology department, and microbiology department. We're gonna call this department number one, department number two, department number three, number four, number five, and number six. Are we going to use all of them? No, I just need three departments. So you're going to choose three different numbers, but you have to do so via simple random sampling. All the members of the three departments are called the cluster sample. What kind of statistical sampling is this? Since we divided them into clusters, this is called cluster sampling. But how is that different from stratified sampling that we talked about before? Let me tell you. Back to our example of the 80 students from a certain university. And again, we have freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. This is department one, department two, department three, department four. Are we going to sample all of them? No, you're just gonna pick two. Oh, a cluster. Yes, not all of them as in stratified sampling, but just two of them. Or three departments out of all of the departments in medical school. Then we're gonna use a random number generator, hashtag simple random sampling, to pick two of these years. The random sample generator can choose year one and year two, year three and year four, year one and three, two and four, we don't care. But it has to be chosen randomly. Then all of the students in these two specific years, the specific years that we chose, are called the cluster sample. These are the students in the sample. Notice that we're gonna take all of the students in these two samples. We're gonna take all the members in these three departments in medical school. All of these members are called what? The cluster sample. How about the other departments? Disregard them, throw them in the trash. No one likes biochemistry anyway. Cluster sampling is a subtype of random sampling. If you wish to see more videos like this in the future, please drop your favorite math emoji in the comments. Question number three. Randomly select a starting point and take the nth piece of data. For example, the college roster contains 11,000 students and you want to choose 500 students. Each student has a number. It's like when you go to college for the first time, they tell you, we are here like a family. We know you by your name. And then on the admissions software database, your name is 24601. We're gonna use sample random sampling to choose a number. And that will be our first student. Then we systematically choose the 14th name thereafter. And then the 14th name thereafter. And then the 14th name after that. And you keep repeating, repeating, repeating until you pick your 500 students. Let's say that the computer shows the fifth student. So the fifth student will be our first student. And then what? Count 14 after this. 5 plus 14 is 19. So the 19th student is the second student chosen for our sample. And then another 14. You skip the next, the next, the next, the next, and you pick the 14th. 19 plus 14 is 33. So the 33rd student is going to be the third member in our sample. What type of statistical sampling is this? This is systematic sampling, mind you, because we are systematically choosing the 14th name thereafter. After what? After the first student, which has been chosen randomly. Systematic sampling is a subtype of random sampling. Question number four, sampling what's already available in front of you right now. So here's an example. A doctor wanted to know the percentage of people in the entire country who have pneumonia. So this lazy piece of trash interviewed and sampled the patients on the pulmonology ward on Thursday at 3 p.m. And that's it. Oh gee, half of the population seems to have pneumonia. Yeah, because you're interviewing people at the hospital, you freaking doofus. You are interviewing sick people. That's why they are in the hospital. 
This does not mean that 50% of people in the country have pneumonia. Get your head out of your sphincter or out of your bronchus. What type of statistical sampling is this? And the answer is, it's convenience sampling. The doctor conveniently interviewed the patients on Thursday at 3 p.m. He did whatever was convenient for him. Convenience sampling is a non-random sampling. Just because 50% of patients on the pulmonology floor have pneumonia doesn't necessarily mean that 50% of the general public has pneumonia. And this is what happens when your sampling is non-random. And therefore, this doctor was guilty of a sampling error. He was guilty of sampling bias, which makes this doctor guilty of all the damages that happen next. I hope you like this one. More videos like this are in my statistics playlist. You can download these notes at medicosisperfectionalis.com. If you value what I do, help me make more videos by supporting the channel. Go to buymeacoffee.com slash medicosis. There are more than 700 premium videos available on this channel when you click the join button and choose the highest tier. Please subscribe, hit the bell, smash like, support my channel on Patreon, PayPal, or Venmo, Go to my website to download my courses, notes, and cases, or if you would like me to personally tutor you. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine, chemistry, math, and physics make perfect sense.